Uh, Nick the Tech Guru here. I'm reviewing the Sling Player um, application for the iPad. I am on the iPad 3 or new iPad, whatever you want to call it. This is the main screen here showing all my favorites. This isn't the best quality video, but it's the only uh, good HD camera I have. And video from the Motorola Bionic and saying it's an HD camera is pushing things. So. I am on a 6, as I said in the other videos, I'm on 6 megabit connection down, um, which is way above their minimum requirements. There isn't a ton of um, choices on here. Um, this is the main screen here. you got settings. You can change some of the settings to when you're on Wi-Fi or cellular, you know, launch preferences, which, uh, you know, give you different options there. You can send feedback, show uh, you know different things on there, left and right audio, auto send select. I'm really not sure what that feature does. I think it's when you put, push a button, it automatically sends it. Must be a certain thing with dish uh, receivers. Um, you've got your connect button. The guide takes you to the um, program guide directory, shows you all your sling boxes. I only have a solo. Um, yeah, I only have a solo, so you're only going to see it on there. I'm going to go ahead and connect. And again, this is $29.99 on the iTunes App Store. I, you know, I said in previous videos, I just don't like how they charge you for every single device. I mean, I guess since this is pretty much a one-time purchase, you uh, have to, you know, and they have to charge you somehow. So, just go ahead and turn down the volume. Personally, on the iPad, it has the lowest quality that I've seen so far. This is, again, on the um, Slink Box Solo. This is the Pro HD. Some other options up here. You can punch in the channel number there. I'm just going to go to 17. Show you some quality tests. As you can see, it's this is way below... Um, way below standard def quality. This is very pixelated. Playing myself it looks terrible. Um, it's barely watchable. I mean looking at it through the camera it on the phone here it looks decent but in reality I don't I don't like it at all. But here you get the uh, remote options just like you do on the PC. Um, down there down there you get the guide quality you can actually change it up to high quality. And remember, this is all on the solo, so your high def isn't going to be the greatest. It's just going to be the highest quality that the um, Slingbox solo can actually do, which resolution-wise isn't that high. And sometimes I have trouble actually getting a good co um, connection. It'll buffer a lot sometimes. So this right here is actually pretty good quality. I don't mind it at all. It's definitely watchable. I would say it's still below DVD quality, but um, definitely way better than the other option. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Sports Center. Um, I think sports give you the best, best kind of example because there's a lot of things moving with sports, and uh, you just overall get a better um, feel for things. Right now, as you can tell, there's a lot of buffering. The quality-wise on, on this one's specifically is it's very close to HD quality and as you can see it's again buffering a lot. I don't get any buffering problems unless I do it through the iPad app. When I'm on um, either the Sling Box or not Sling Box, the Boxy Box and using the Sling Player app, I don't get any buffering on um, you know the higher quality. You know when I'm on the Android phone and do the high qu higher quality, it's perfectly uh no, I'm fine. There's no buffering issues, so I don't know if it's an iPad issue or you know an iPhone issue in general. But uh, do keep that in mind. There are some buffering issues that I don't experience on any other devices. So I'm I'm thinking that's related to the either iPad or iPhone. So got your favorites down there. You've got your devices you can select, and as you've seen on the previous screens. So I believe I have it covered at all for you guys. I'm gonna go back to the guide here. It's pretty much a quick guide. You can uh, actually drag that up and get the full screen effect. And 
I don't know if you can see that, but in the background, it's still playing it. It's just kind of over top of it, so. All right, that was the Sling Player um, app for the Apple iPad. Please stay tuned for future videos of other devices I, I do have in store and um, demonstration of the boxy box, um, you know, application on there showing you quality wise and how well it functions. Again, this was the Sling Player application for the iPad. Um, I am connected to a Slingbox Solo. I do plan on doing a Slingbox Pro HD on demonstration for all these applications, so stay tuned.